Pantone colors are not spot colors. This is very easy to understand if you understand what a spot color is and what a swatch library is. But for some reason, when we hear the term spot color, we tend to associate that with Pantone colors. So oftentimes, Pantone matching system or PMS colors are used to describe spot colors, but spot colors are not inherently Pantone colors and vice versa. The Pantone matching system is a way to identify and to standardize color. When choosing a color from a swatch book, that color can be produced using some combination of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, or by using that literal color of ink, aka a spot color. But don't get Pantone colors confused with spot colors. The Pantone swatch book is just one way to specify colors. Other methods, and you can see these if you hit the color mode drop down in InDesign when you're in the swatch options dialog box, are the Pantone matching system. And there are dozens of books. There's metallics and fluorescence. There's coded and uncoded. There, there are a number of different swatch libraries available. You can have hand mixed colors to identify your spot color. So if you're just printing a short run and you have some yellow and some red ink, if you hand mix it together to make orange, then you are creating a spot color. Another swatch library or swatch book that you can purchase is the Toyo Color Finder. There's also a True Match color swatch book. And then uh, we have specialized equipment in the lab here. Just our example is we have a Roland Versacam SP300i. And when we use that printer, we have to use these two libraries to identify color. The VersaWorks library to communicate information to the printer about where to cut and when to pick up metallic inks or opaque inks. And then there's also the Roland Color System library, which allows us to print the chip chart similar to a swatch library. And then when we want to print a spot color, since that machine is not capable of printing spot colors, we can ensure color consistency by choosing the color from a swatch library. When you're ready to identify a color to be used multiple times in a design, whether it's a spot color or a process color, you're going to need to create a new color swatch. New color swatches can be created by selecting the new color swatch option from the options file menu, and you can see that illustrated in my screenshot here. You can also select any existing swatch and hit the new icon. The little piece of paper with the corner turned up always means new, so if you're on the swatch, um, panel, it will create a new swatch. If you're on the layers panel, it'll create a new layer. If you select any of the existing swatches and you hit that, it'll duplicate the swatch and then you can modify it. You could also just randomly choose a color as your fill or your stroke color. And whatever color is present in the foreground of your little illustration here showing the fill and the stroke color, if you press that new icon, it will take the color that you're using. Let's say that you create this really cool red-orange color. And then when you select new, it will automatically add that to your swatches panel. It is a good idea to save all colors used in your design to the swatches panel. Saving all colors allows the colors to be easily accessed and used over and over again. It also links the colors in your design to the saved swatches, which can aid in design efficiency. So if you think you may use yellow green more than once, save it so that you don't have to go and figure out what that color was and recreate the color. But it also links the color in the design. So if you were to say that my yellow green is not yellow enough, you could change the swatch and make it more yellow. And then everywhere that that swatch has been used or it's linked to that swatch in the design will all update automatically to change the color for you.